Grab the hot chocolate and light a fire, because it's time for a very special edition of What's Up? Elsa has frozen over Moorhead, and the co-hosts are taking the show outside to cover Snowmageddon 2015. They'll talk about what they've been doing since the storm hit, do some typical snow day activities, and see how other students spent their snow week. All this and much more coming up on the What's Up Snowmageddon Spectacular with Chad Hedrick, Leanza Peroni, Austin Burke, and Ricky Nelson. What's Up starts right now. What is up, everybody? Welcome to a very exciting edition of What's Up, Snowmageddon 2015. We are coming to you from not our set, because it's locked in Breckenridge Hall, so we thought, hmm, this isn't our set. What? Spoil- I- what? Wow. What? Surprise! What? <laughs> I just thought we decorated it really oh. well. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> we are actually at the bell tower in the middle of campus. We've got the Camden Carroll Library behind us. A ducks over that way. Other buildings are that way. We're the only ones outside. Yes, we are. So I guess that's, that is dedication to. We are. Dedication or stupidity. I can't decide. Both. Both. I, I'm glad to see you all have survived the snow apocalypse or snow again. I can't. Just, I like them both. I like snow again. Snow again. Snow again. All right. Snowmageddon. Hashtag snow again 2015. That's the official hashtag for today's show. Um, you know, I mean, it's. It's freezing. It's outside. cold. Yes, it it's is. a little bit. My toes are a little cold. My toes are a lot cold. <laughs> a lot cold. And I'm wearing like insulated rain boots right now. Well, this and my snow. toes are cold. So I don't. I don't know. It's like 12 degrees, just about right now. Yeah. So. Just about, and it's supposed. It's this isn't even bad compared mm-hmm. to what some meteorologists are saying. We're supposed to get down into the single digit, negative ten, negative, negative twelve. Uh, oh, yeah. That's a big negative. Oh, yeah. You probably won't be seeing me for a while until it's spring break. <laughs> because, uh, it's cold. Call oh, me, yeah. call me when it warms up. Yeah, yeah. So call freezing. me when all of this is sand and I'm at a beach. Mm. Can't wait. So, anyway, <laughs> I mean, can we also talk about like how bad the roads have been? This storm literally shut down Moorhead. It shut down Kentucky. It shut down Kentucky. It really, I, I saw, uh, I think it was Chris Bailey said that the storm would shut the state down. And I think it has, courthouses were closed all across the, the state. Uh, obviously, schools were closed. Campus closed. Um, a lot of places closed. It's, it shut it down. The roads are horrible. Still. They've, st- they've cleared them up a little bit, but, you know, it's hard, they said, to clear them because, one, it's so cold. It just freezes. And yesterday it just kept snowing, so there was really no point. It was constant, in constant, constant snow. Clearing it was snowing. Snowing. I think All day. For about eight hours, really, this, it was snowing. Didn't stop. The entire state of Kentucky. Yeah. And then, um, if you look, I think it was like 12 hours in nonstop snowfall. Which yeah. is awesome. I Which loved was it. Fantastic. I love snow. Who, who's made snow angels and stuff? I haven't gone to I went sledding. Yet. You this went is sledding? My first I went sledding. Hike. Where'd you go sledding? I went sledding in between Menon Hall and East, just down okay. the little hill. I'm not making the trek all the way up to Eagle Lake. I don't no. see how people got up there. I don't no. know. Like, I just see them climbing and, like, sliding back down. Like, I don't, I don't know. So yeah. I just went sledding down the little hill, and it was awesome. But it's well, hard the, to do anything else, though, because the snow is so it's, powdery. It's, it's very falls fluffy. apart. So you can't build a snowman. Yeah. But, like, the thing is, with this snow, I talked to a meteorologist that, uh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> WSAZ News Channel 3 and Kelly and Chickalees. And I said, you know, what is the benefit to it being this kind of snow? She said it's it's easy to shovel, but exactly. there's so but because there's so much of it. I mean, look how oh no, because so it's so deep though, you can't shovel it anywhere deep. because cars get stuck like mine at my apartment. I walked here. I can't feel my body. You walked here, Chad? I walked a That's mile. That's impatient. I was really lucky that my Jeep is four-wheel drive so I could get over all the big snow dunes that they piled up on the side of the road. I was really lucky to live on campus. Yeah. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> see, that's the thing. I mean, obviously, ADUC has been closed, but campus did open beakers and alumni. Thank, thank goodness. Oh, yes. Thank you. While. And it was good, too. A lot of restaurants did close in town. I know the Wendy's closed uh, the first couple of days because of the storm. Uh, 
Jimmy John's did? Jimmy John's wouldn't deliver. Yeah, they still won't deliver. What? I really? Yeah, we tried today. <laughs> I, w- I came here from calling them while in the middle of the blizzard. Flemingsburg Road was a skating rink. The main street that goes north and south of, ca- of town. Skating rink. And they wouldn't deliver. So, I starved. I'm out of food. I'm at the apartment. You but I do learn to cook, but I'm out of food, <laughs> and yourself, I can't Dad. go to Walmart. The pod's open, I think. Because it's I'm well, I, that's expensive. You want to pay five dollars for some macaroni and cheese? Yeah. I mean, it's the best macaroni and cheese you've ever had. That's true. <laughs> it, I mean, for five dollars, <laughs> it better be. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna come back, talk more about snow again. Ricky's got some fun stuff to show us, uh, and something about to happen to me. We'll be right back on what's up, snow again, 2015. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh my! Matrix. It never gets old, huh? Nope. It kind of makes you want to... Break into song? Yup. I love the sunset. I love Eagle Lake. I love the forest. I love when eagles play. I love the campus! And all its sights and sounds. boom dee da boom dee da boom dee da boom dee da I love philosophy. We love diversity. I love English. And all its weird words. I love the music. And all its melodies. Boom diada, boom diada. Boom diada, boom diada. I love fraternities. I love sororities. I love to draw things. And all the athletes. I love Moorhead. It's such a pretty place. Boom diada, boom diada, boom diada, boom diada, boom diada, boom diada, boom diada. Welcome back to What's Up Snowmageddon 2015 specialty cover song. Really? I mean, I'm preparing. Oh. <laughs> She's getting ready because we're, we're doing a snowman building contest here a little bit later in the show. Which, like we said, good luck with that. Good luck. Um, Professional. Like a... Oh! Oh! Rid! I'll get you back. Rid! <laughs> anyway. Anyway, um, a lot of people have been asking, you know, about how did all this happen? Because we talked about Kentucky... This doesn't happen in Kentucky. It this doesn't now, Chad. This isn't Boston, where Boston is buried in snow. Buried? So I talked to, we've got a lot of weather geeks that are working with us. Uh, Marky Owens has got a little segment for us here in a minute. Um, but Kellyanne Chickalese, uh, who's a meteorologist with WSAZ News Channel 3, see the logo. Uh, I asked her, you know, what came in place for this to happen? And she said, basically a southern storm with a ton of moisture um, just collided with this Arctic cold air, and I think Arctic is putting it nicely. A little bit. A little bit. Said that um, they came together, collided right over the top of the state, um, but she said, we've seen these kind of storms this winter here, but it's not been... No, no we have eight, no, But it's not I, been I, eight I, degrees I, below a oh, legitimate okay. temperature. So Got that, it. She said, because normally it's just been a lot of rain. Yeah, and then the tailing would be snow. So this was just perfect timing for the two. Um, so to make the perfect storm. We know all about rain but and ch- Yeah, because <laughs> did you all see the the creek that goes under um, Bear Music Hall? Is yeah. like you could skate it's on solid. that. Really? Yeah. Let's you could try skate on that. Let's go. I okay. bet Eagle Lake. Austin, Next go skate. <laughs> Austin, go skate Eagle Lake and see what happens. <laughs> I'll do it. I know. <laughs> but and then also. You know, let's talk about asterisk. So what about this snow and like how it is so fluffy? And I said, why is this a better snow? So and fluffy. It's so fluffy. And then <laughs> what? We're being pelted. We're we being, no idea what's happening right now. Snowball fight. Um, I asked her. I said, so why is this a better snow? Because a lot. That's what they kept saying. This is the snow to have. And she said because it's not a wet snow, which clings to the power lines. It clings to the tree limbs and causes power outages. So thankfully, we didn't experience that. It's just piled up in my parking lot and I can't move. But anyway, we are having having a lot of fun with it. So what are you what are you guys planning on to fill the rest of our time without class? Oh man, um, going back in the warmth. <laughs> And watching television. Netflix. We can't watch television. The cable's out. Netflix. What? Cable's out on campus? Yeah, cable's out on campus. What? Just like. So, <laughs> so Netflix is a good one. Ha ha, we scored on that one. 
that. I mean, I should probably be friend. studying for my test that I was supposed to have today. It's okay. Uh, it's but a good idea too, but I fine. think I'm going to go to Lakiji. Yeah, yeah, see if we can climb. Yeah, yeah. We're going to die. We're going to see if we can all climb it. Lucy is four wheel drive, <laughs> and she's got it. Is wow. Lucy going to climb you up top of Lakiji? Well, she's going to climb me up to the part where I climb. <laughs> Crazy. We may be having a spot for a new coach. It <laughs> might be open. <laughs> so after today. Stay tuned for that. But anyway, we've got a lot of fun planned for you. We're going to take a look at some things to do around campus in just a little bit. But first, this is What's Up with MSC TV, Channel 85. Don't go away. It's Snowmageddon. Stay warm. Okay. Woo. okay. Lord, what fools these mortals be. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? I have always depended on the kindness of strangers. Hey guys, it's Ricky. I'm here with one of our segment producers, Leah. And we're going to show you that you can have fun in the snow. Just because it's cold doesn't mean that it's not fun you can go sledding, which is what Lee and I are going to do today. So don't stay inside and watch movies all day because you could get cabin fever really, really easily. I know my roommates have cabin fever really badly right now. They're like going insane. So come outside and go sledding and we're going to demonstrate how fun it is. Um, give a shout out really quick to my roommate Ellie, who is filming for us right now. Go Ellie. You're awesome. You're the bomb. So just because you're at school and you're at college, doesn't mean that you can't have fun, like I said. So just get on your butt and go sledding! Let's have fun in the snow. Woo! Super easy. Still recording. Don't even know if you can see my face, but <laughs> figured we should give Chad lots of stuff to work with. Uh, uh, uh. Thank Ellie for filming for us for the Thanks first for part of the segment. <laughs> All right, guys. That is it here for the sledding segment of What's Up? Go have fun.
Snowpocalypse, Snowmageddon, the storm of the season. These were just some of the phrases used to describe the epic winter storm that hit Moorhead and pummeled the entire state of Kentucky, causing schools and many businesses, such as Wendy's, to close down during the week of February 16th. The first round of winter weather hit early Monday morning, dumping a good 7 to 8 inches of the white stuff on Flemingsburg Road. This massive system covered the entire state in white for many hours, as seen here on WKYT's First Alert Defender Radar, and led the National Weather Service to issue winter storm warnings for the entire state. On Tuesday, road conditions weren't any better and caused snow day number two for the week. Late Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning brought another two to four inches into town and caused cabin fever to really sink in. Record cold temperatures in the low single digits and below zero in some spots forecasted for Thursday and Friday led campus officials to go ahead and cancel class for the week late Wednesday afternoon. But Mother Nature wasn't done with us yet and slammed the state with snow, ice, and rain late Friday night into Saturday morning, making last week a time that will forever be frozen in our memory. But as we approach March, there are warmer temperatures in the forecast, and believe it or not, there's sunshine on the horizon. News Center reporter Andrew McCann caught up with Assistant Chief of Police and Interim Chief Michael Trent to discuss how MSU deals with hazardous weather and the weather plan they have in place. MSU's weather plan is a policy that uh, is in place to examine and to identify any potential weather hazards, uh, specifically to travel, road, roadways, such of that nature, uh, mostly for inclement weather during the winter time, as far as ice and snow and slippery conditions that would make roads hazardous. Uh, it was implemented uh, to give the opportunity, if there was severe weather, severe uh, winter weather, uh, an opportunity for a delay or possibly even cancellation. It, like I said, mostly it's for it's for winter weather, but I, I'm sure that you know if we had uh, extreme winds or uh, possibly flooding or, or other things that you know nature type of uh, events that it could be implemented. And it, it usually starts with obviously uh, monitoring and paying attention to the forecast. Uh, if there's a, a forecast where there's a winter advisory you know, for let's say tomorrow. Then that, that starts there as awareness and then checking up periodically with the forecast. And then at the time when uh, the weather may be changing, um, I myself, uh, a lot of times around 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, I will get up, uh, check the outside conditions. If I see nothing that's that's going there, then then that may be uh, all that needs to be done. But if there is snow, if there is some accumulation, the temperatures, or, or ideal for slick roads or hazardous conditions, then I actually make a, uh, I go out and make an inspection of the roads myself. I keep in contact with uh, Kentucky State Police Post. Uh, a lot of people don't know, but uh, the State Police has a Post 8 here in Moorhead. Uh, they cover eight counties, and Round County kind of sits in the middle. And they can give me a lot of road conditions uh, as far as updates on any accidents uh, that may have took place in that post area. Check with them, and then what I see here in Round County and in the Moorhead area, uh, then I pass that on to the provost. I will contact the provost and um, tell them what my recommendation is, uh, or the what the what my observations are, uh, the severity of it, uh, any reported accidents, any reported road closures, and then at that point uh, he goes on up the the chain of command, uh, assume to Dr. Andrews, and uh, they can make an informed decision based on the information that I provide them. Now, also, too, part of this plan, uh, you know, is that uh, students, uh, faculty, and staff, and visitors should make their own personal evaluation. You need to make those personal decisions about your safety and about, uh, you know, your willingness to get on roads that may be slicker or in worse shape than they are towards the campus. Now, Moorhead State does have two plans when it comes to the weather. Plan A, in which MSU is closed and all administrative offices are closed as well. And Plan B, in which MSU will operate on a two-hour delay with offices opening at 10 a.m. and classes beginning at 10.20 a.m.
Well, I, you know, being from New England again, I, you know, having two days off there, I was okay because that's the most dangerous part of it. I wasn't excited about closing school Thursday and Friday, but then again, we conferred with National Weather Service forecast, and when they said the temperatures were going to plummet, you know, maybe as low as uh, tonight, 15 to 20 below zero, we can't risk having students, uh, you know, driving in and our faculty and staff moving around campus in those kind of conditions. So actually, it was a good decision. And you can see just while the facilities folks have done a good job on the snow, there's quite a bit of ice around too. It's going to take several days of warm weather to get this stuff out of here. I think our facility staff is fantastic. They were out here right from the get-go, starting on uh, Sunday, trying to get ready for Monday. And of course, this, you know, the snow just came on so hard on Monday. It was just impossible to open the campus. Have you ever seen a snow like this on campus? Uh, yeah, uh, but it was a long time ago. It was back uh, probably in the 80s, uh, early 90s, uh, back when I was in school myself. It's been a while. You know, we got a lot of snow uh, quick, and and it, it was all the timing. And, and what I mean by that is a lot of snow came in right around the, you know, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning time frame. Uh, and some of it lasted up until, especially yesterday, up until mid-morning, and uh, you know it, we don't have a four-hour delay. Uh, I don't even know if, if that would have been appropriate uh, even yesterday. Um, when you consider the commuters that we have uh, and staff, faculty, uh, there's a lot of people coming in. You know that time of morning, so a lot of side roads are still treacherous, uh, slick, uh, ice on them, and of course today and and tomorrow. You know, we're looking at sub-zero uh, temperatures. You know, I love to be with the students, and, you know, I was over here every day this week, uh, you know, taking videos and pictures and you know, teasing the kids and so forth. Kids are kids, right? They're having a ball, and uh, they're glad to have some time off, but it's, it's time to quit having fun. Let's go back to class. Our goal, of course, is to be open on Monday, but we'll just have to monitor the weather very carefully, and um, I'm hopeful that we'll be able to open, but we won't know until we see what actually happens. Welcome back to What's Up. Uh, we thought, you know, it is a fantastic day to still snow in, snowball fight, do things with snow. So we're going to do a snowball man, snowman? Is that snowman. What snowman. Snowball man? Snowball man right. contest. Boys versus girls. Austin and I are going to win. Yeah, we are. Ready? We have like a minute to make it. Ready? What? Set. Go! Snow in a cap! I fell! I fell! <laughs> No. You. Come on, Chad. Help me you build it. Now watch them. I can't feel my arm. I can't feel my arm. I don't think we. I think we passed our minute on. Here. Now we have. Oh, <laughs> put some snow on top of Ellie and call her a snowman. <laughs>
reminds me of? It reminds me of whipped cream. <laughs> Remember the whipped cream, Austin? Shut up, Jack. Okay, I think we're out of time. Yeah, we are. It's are we out like of time? Two minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay, you need. Oh, yeah. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Time is up. Oh. Nope, nope, okay. stop. Wait, wait. Oh. Boom! Boom! Winner! Winner! Chicken! Chicken dinner! dinner. Oh. Beautiful! Beautiful snowman building. It's like the Pyramid of Giza, Beautiful. but with the arms. Beautiful. Yes. Well, look at ours. Yeah, ours is so much better. Um, See? It just looks like a pile of snow. Okay, okay we're going to take a break and go get feeling back in our fingers. Don't go away. Yo, why are you looking at bags, bro? What you need is a chick magnet. You put me in the room and boom! Chicks. That's what I'm talking about! Okay. Hey! <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome back. We can't feel our bodies anymore. No, nope. no, nope, it's gone. My All feelings gone. gone. It's gone. Numb. Looking Dick. back, I don't think this was a smart idea. Terrible idea. We had fun. We, you guys was, have fun. I like it. Yeah. I, I, I mean, fun. I had fun. I'm never doing this again. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we should do the fat and fake snow next. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Next time snow again happens. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, I can't tell the difference between the studio and out here because they're both really freaking cold. Really, they are really both cold. very cold. True. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we got to bring out the scenery. Yes, we did. Thank you all for watching us act like fools again. Yay! Programming alert, though. On our March 24th, we are going to be filming an exclusive interview with MSU President Dr. Wayne Andrews. Ooh. Don't miss it. Don't the miss president. that. We'll make sure we tell you when that airs. But it's up to you to send some questions in. Go to our Facebook and Twitter to submit questions for him to ask. And if we ask your question answer. for him to answer... I can't Us function. It's His so brain's cold. frozen. <laughs> Wait, Chad, he's not the president of the United States, is he? No, no he's the no, president. No, no. Okay. It's he, he looks yeah. 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 Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. send us your questions. You might win a prize if it's asked on the air. So, until next time, hopefully we all will be functioning. Always stop to listen to... What's up? Stay warm. I think my fingers are Woo! Oh. Oh. Woo! Oh. Okay. Oh, that was it. Oh, it Frozen. I'm like Elsa. Wait, you can't freeze what you don't have. Oh, uh, <laughs> you don't have a brain, Chad. <laughs> Until next time, always stop to listen to What's, What's Up? up? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. 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 To learn more about What's Up, go to msutv.net.